Uh, hey, this is Jimmy. Who's this? Jimmy, my name is Alec Baldwin. <laughs> I'm an actor, director, author, and patron of the arts. Yeah, I know you are, Mr. Baldwin. <laughs> Thanks for calling in. You are welcome. Well, exactly why are you calling to the Jimmy Dore show? I'm calling your show to make the following extremely important announcements. I am joining my fellow recording artists, Neil Young, Joni Mitchell, <laughs> Graham Nash, and a host of others in removing my music from the streaming platform known as Spotify. Wait, what? Spotify. <laughs> no, I got that part. You have you have music up on Spotify? Yes. In addition to actor, director, author, and patron of the arts, I, too, am a recording artist. I didn't realize that. Also, I don't think anyone else realized that. It's true. In 2017, I released an album of covers of my favorite tunes. Are you freaking serious? <laughs> As a heart attack. <laughs> and in case you missed it, and I don't know how you could have, my cover of Nick Gilder's Hot Child in the City was a minor hit in Bulgaria, where it reached number 347 on the hot spoken word chart. Okay, well, why are you doing this? As long as Spotify sees fit to platform Joe Rogan and his podcast, I cannot in good conscience allow my cover of The Safety Dance by Men Without Hats <laughs> to be streamed by that service. I have ethical lines, Mr. Door, and that crosses them in an aggressively crossy way. We have the safety dance. <laughs> what exactly do you not like about Joe Rogan? Mr. Rogan consistently uses his platform to spread dangerous misinformation. How do you know this? Everybody knows it. What exactly did he say that made you mad? Good God, man, I didn't actually listen. <laughs> I wouldn't listen to a single moment of that ignoramus talking even if it magically made all my legal troubles disappear. Well, then how do you know what he's about? The HAEGP, or Hollywood Association of Extremely Good People, <laughs> in their monthly circular to members, made it crystal clear that Rogan is anathema and hell-bent on spreading COVID misinformation, if not COVID itself. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's just not true. Are you calling us liars? Yeah. In this moral stance, I am quite <laughs> confident in the company I keep. I stand with Neil Young and tell the world that from now on, if you want to hear my instrumental cover of Oingo Boingo's Weird Science, <laughs> where I myself play the vibraphone, you will have to download it from its other home at Lycos Music. <laughs> well, Alec, I'm going to go ahead and assume that you've looked into the moral bone of bona fides of every single corporation that has ever distributed anything that you have ever done. Hypothetically, what if Joe Rogan went to Lycos Music too? Well then, in the name of moral consistency, I suppose my version of Nasty Girl by Vanity Six, which is actually a duet with me and Wallace Shawn, oh, would be forever silenced. That would be painful, but I would have no choice. Wow, Mr. Baldwin, what an ethically upstanding person you are. Thank you. I accept your compliment. However, your sarcasm reminds me of my bitch of an ex-wife. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, I suppose you're going to delete Spotify from your phone? I can't. Why not? Currently, my phone is in the possession of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. <laughs> <laughs> All right, because of the thing? <laughs> yes, the thing. <laughs> do, do you want to talk about that thing? Good God, no. Do, do you think it's impossible? Do you think it's possible, Mr. Baldwin, that you are publicly taking that stance to distract from other ways you are in the news, <laughs> joining the ranks of other virtue signaling celebrities to get some of their clout on them by using Rogan as a scapegoat? Joe Rogan is as dangerous as a nuclear war with children as generals. <laughs> the threat he poses to civilization, I am led to believe, is as stark as an asteroid headed to our planet. Any small modicum of resistance I can provide will only solidify my status among the eternal constellation of concerned celebrities. And, and so to answer your insulting question, 
Yes. <laughs> well, how do you honestly <laughs> think you'll stop them? By withholding from all of humanity my cover of Shaka Khan's I Feel For You <laughs> with Joe Scarborough. <laughs> With Joe Scarborough of Morning Joe doing the rap parts. An achievement that was called, quote, unlistenable in a Dr. Demento subreddit. (laughs) I see. Well, thanks for calling, Alec. I'm working on a new album. Would you like to hear a preview? (laughs) Yes. And I ran. I the ran so far is, oh, away. Oh, I forgot to. I forgot to write your line with no. Oh. Oh, and say it again then. So let's do it again. Ready? Ask me again. Yeah. I'm working on a new album. Would you like to hear a preview? No. <laughs> the reflex is a lonely child <laughs> who's waiting in the park. Uh. The reflex <laughs> is in charge of finding. Treasure in the dark. <laughs> oh, I I hate that song, but thank you. <laughs> thank you. That's the idea. Okay. Hey, we're doing live stand-up shows in Los Angeles, February 5th, February 12th, February 18th, February 20th, we're in Philadelphia, and then February 26th, back here in Los Angeles in Studio City at our 60-seat theater. Go to jimmydorecomedy.com for a link for all tickets, and while you're there, become a premium member, get access to all our premium content. (laughs) 